if you're walking in the street in a crosswalk or you're riding your bike, you should assume that the drivers on the road are not paying attention to you. And why do I say that? Well, I've just been looking at the 2022 report from the Kentucky State Police that basically breaks down how bicycle accidents and pedestrian accidents occur. And what I find is driver inattention is overwhelmingly the leading factor in these accidents. So if you're trying to prevent an accident or avoid one, the assumption should be that the driver isn't paying attention. So when you cross the crosswalk, be sure that you know no one's coming. Just because the little white man comes on the crosswalk sign, don't start walking. Double check, make sure no one's running the red light. Make sure no one's making a left turn. I'm very surprised to see in the statistics that left turns are almost twice as dangerous for pedestrians as right turns. And there's a lot of reasons for that. I wouldn't have necessarily guessed it, but one of the leading reasons is that it is harder to make a left turn. There's more cognitive load on the driver. They have to make more calculations, look this way, that way, cross traffic. And so, you know, they may miss it. And the, maybe the last thing they're thinking about is you, the pedestrian in the crosswalk. Maybe you're in Louisville or you're in, you know, downtown Lexington. And it's a Friday night and you're wearing dark clothing and they, they don't see you, right? It's not like you're in, in the countryside wearing a bright reflective vest. So that's another factor that we saw in these statistics, which is, you know, the pedestrian is not visible or wearing dark clothing. It's not going to be your fault if you're wearing dark clothing and the driver, you know, fails to yield and is not paying attention and hits you. You'll be able to bring a lawsuit, hire someone like me, but you don't want to be in that position, right? So this video is about avoiding bicycle accidents, avoiding pedestrian accidents. That's kind of the best advice I have for you. So anyway, I hope the video has been helpful in thinking about ways to avoid becoming a victim of a pedestrian collision or a pedal cyclist collision or, or any collision. You know, be safe out there. If you have been injured, we can help, but hopefully you don't need our services. So thanks for watching.